classic Mustang lovers. They drive their collectibles, shine them up, show them off, and discuss them with other classic Mustang lovers. But underneath the hoods of their retro babies is an outdated technology. What we have here today is two Shelbys, 1968 KR500, 2009 GT500. We are going to show you the difference of technology from yesterday to today. Starting with this 68 KR right here, let's open the hood here. It's got a 428 Cobra Jet normal carbureted motor in it. Up until the 1980s, most cars relied on a carburetor to power the combustion engine. Air travels in from outside, past a filter, and into the carburetor. Pressure on the gas pedal allows a regulated amount of air and a regulated amount of fuel into the chamber where they mix. The throttle valve allows the air-fuel blend to enter the engine. Over here, fuel injection. You have fuel injectors on each cylinder. You have a fuel rail. You have an equalizer tube. Right there, you have a throttle body. You have an electronic fuel equalizer pressurized pump right here. So what's the upside of this complicated fuel injection system? This car can get 25 miles a gallon. This could probably get 12 to 15. And the reason is, is because all the extra excess fuel that's not burned gets thrown out the back, and it smokes, and it smells good, and everybody goes, oh, my God, I want an old car. Here, you don't smell anything because it's engineered perfect. So it actually burns every last minuscule of fuel and air. Well, that's the good part. The bad part is I can work on this, and a lot of people work on this. And here, I need, a, like, an engineering degree and a laptop. Just another case of mechanical versus computerized. For some, no computer chips can ever replace the soulful roar of the engine and the familiar smell of exhaust. It's not just the insides of cars.